was put out to fail. They put this movie out intentionally the way that they did in order for it to flop on purpose. Now, Discussing Film says, Blue Beetle opens to 25.4 mil domestically. Somebody quoted it and said, the general public doesn't care for anything DC as a theatrical experience anymore, unless it has Batman or Joker in the title. But that's a stupid way to live your life. Real DC fans, real comic book fans, real movie watchers, real anything except Twitter people. Oh my fault, X people. <laughs> <laughs> real people are not just checking for Batman and Joker. We want comic book movies we're not just checking for batman and joker that's a stupid way to live your life and not just the comic book movies we want stories like we want good stories it was originally supposed to be a hbo max movie i think that warner brothers put this movie out because they're in the negative right now layoffs coming out of warner brothers discovery but if you take a look at the stock it's trading near 52 week lows down more than 50 percent discovery acquired warner brothers and from there what ended up happening was they had to cut a lot of stuff. That's why we lost a lot of projects. They're trying to save a lot of money. And so Blue Beetle was going to just go out on this HBO Max platform and they spent all this money on it. So now David Zaslav, now he's like, yo, we just spent all this money on this movie. It's not gonna make us any money on the platform. Let's release it in theaters. I don't think that they care whether or not this movie makes money or not, mm -hmm. just as long as it makes some sort of money. So. I still think the movie is going to be profitable on its budget because it wasn't a crazy high budget. So it is technically a win, but like on a comic book movie scale, it's an L for DC. Listen, here's my thing. With Blue Beetle, we can't go based off opening weekend just because of the fact that it would need that word of mouth mm -hmm. from the second week to the third. I think the second week is gonna perform better than the first week. You think so? That's very rare, bro. That's just very because, rare. Just because you have people who don't want to go watch the movie for their own whatever right, reasons. Right, right, Whether it be it's not connected to something, they just hate James Gunn, you know? S right, Stuff right. like that. So you got people with their own personal feelings on why they don't want to go watch the movie. But now you have people who have watched the movie, you have people who's coming around like, yo, it's actually not a shitty movie. Like, it's worth watching, you feel me? I think they sent it out to flop because even now to the marketing, I don't even think they marketed it that much just so that the marketing budget wasn't super high. Mm -hmm. I think they tried to keep it as low inflation as possible it's better than what disney does like disney would have been like yeah let's reshoot it and da, 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 da. like i was watching something where uh film theory actually film theory dropped the video explaining that the reason why these budgets balloon to that because we had that question like yo why are these movies so expensive yeah. it's because of the reshoots one of the biggest contributors to the inflation of a movie's budget over at disney that a lot of people don't talk about are reshoots a reshoot is where a film brings back the cast and crew to refilm scenes that didn't work or to film new scenes that become needed as they get into the editing process i thought that when they reshoot the movie they was doing like specific scenes and stuff he was explaining they be redoing the whole shit. So you're basically making two movies and then that becomes one budget. Blue Beetle is kind of just like, oh, we about to just put this out. And, and I respect the fact that they had the film and they put it out there. I do think a big part of this movie not working was not being able to market it too. Like from the oh, actor's yeah, definitely, point of view. Definitely, 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 100%, yeah. What sucks about this movie is that it seems like the entire cast is likable. They all did their job down to, uh, I don't know bro's name by like, Zolo, I think his name is. X-O-L-O, -O, I think his name is. The main actor? The, the main actor of Blue Beetle. I think it's Zolo. Yeah, like, he seems very likable. I've seen clips of him online, you yeah. know? He's not talking obnoxious like some people on the internet. Her love story with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. I think he's dating Shorty from the film. Like, they don't seem like unlikable people. And so that's why I feel bad about this movie. Because I'm like, I hope they get another shot. Even if it's just on HBO Max. My favorite part of the movie is the fact that because the director knew he was on a limited budget, he said he wanted to focus heavy on practical effects. I love it. I love that. The suit was fire. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear no complaints about the suit. That shit, the way that they dropped that photo, and even, even though, in the even film, that, even that photo was fine to me. That was perfectly fine. Was fine. He could have just me. walked around like that, which he was at some point. He just walking around in the suit. Dude. Blue Beetle was about Jaime Reyes and he goes off to college. He comes back, he finds out his father had like a heart attack. They're losing the house. And so he feels like, all right, with this degree, I'm feeling like get my family out the hood. He comes across this bad Brazilian. Jesus! Jesus Christ! And she goes, <laughs> <laughs> bad Brazilian <laughs> shit. <laughs> He jumps into a conversation and she's just like, yo, you know what, if you want a job, because he ends up losing the job as soon as he gets it. She's like, yo, come by the, the offices. I'm gonna hook you up with a job. But when he pulls up to the offices, he's pressed. Shorty's like, yo, sit down. She's not trying to meet you right now. He goes, but we got an appointment. She's like, no, she's busy. 
Meanwhile, she's upstairs trying to steal from the company, which should get her locked up. For whatever reason, the Beatles just sitting out and about on the counter. She grabs it, puts it in some food box, hands it off to Jaime. He runs home, transforms into the Blue Beetle. Now, the whole premise is run from Cord Industries. Here's how I feel about the movie. It's not a terrible movie. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about it. I genuinely liked Blue Beetle as a kid. I wish we got Blue Beetle at around the time that Batman Brave and the Bull came out. There's so much superhero stuff out there right now. It kind of just felt like I was watching Iron Man 1. Obviously, the comparisons to Iron Man are going to be there. Mm -hmm. But the best part about Blue Beetle is the family aspect. They was in their bag with that. The worst part of the movie is also the family for me. Y'all broke into this base. He knows how to fly this bug ship. Uh, like, it's like little nitpicky stuff, but it's still stuff that's oh, a little guess, annoying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that is the stuff that makes it an HBO Max movie for me. Where like, this movie could have been a really fine tuned movie. How you felt about Across the Spider-Verse and his relationship with his mother was uh -huh. how I felt about him, about Jaime and his relationship with his father. Yeah, no, 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 that's like, real. How you, how you was like, yo, I started tearing, I'm in the theater, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. No, that was a nice scene. Like, and I saw it coming. I guess that's the I, thing I, we I all saw. One hundred percent saw it coming. I, yeah. The moment they they started talking, I'm like, yeah, this nigga. Yeah, he's he's not here no more. But you know what it is? It's uh, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it now. Why you move away from me? Nah, because I kept bumping into. You. Oh, I'm like, why you move away from me? <laughs> I think for me, what I liked about the movie was that there was a dad sitting next to his son, and after the movie. He was like, that was an okay movie, right? And the son was like, yeah, I liked it. And he was like, but the movie was better because I was with you. <laughs> and I'm like, ah! Yeah, that little daddy scene. In the right, movie, it was some right. I was like, yo, like he really sat there with his pops. And like, I'm just thinking about how like that's going, like, you know how Inside Out, like that's a core memory right there. What's funny to me is thinking about how uh, the original Blue Beetle was just some uh, like Brazilian nigga doing capoeira in the middle of Miami. There was a t Ted Cord. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is a Brazilian nigga <laughs> doing capoeira in the middle of the street. Like, think about that. So he was Batman. I don't agree with Adla. I like the movie. I like the movie. I like, thought the movie was very basic. It's not great. It was basic, but I still like it. I'm a basic kind of dude, you know? Nah, that's cool. That's fine. That's fine. But watch this. Watch this. You didn't like Shazam. Yeah, yeah, I hated Shazam. I thought it was better than Shazam. I think they're on the same level. Nah. Bro, they're literally on the so same you level. Like the Flash more than Blue Beetle? That's something I've been trying not to think about. I was gonna bring it up. I was waiting. That's why. I ain't, that's why I waited until the cameras was rolling. I do like the uh, the Blue Beetle more than the Flash. All right then. Yeah, I like the Blue Beetle more than the Flash. But overall, man, Blue Beetle was a. I'm not gonna say a good film. It was a fair film. Like I'll give it a fair. And the reason why it's up there like that is because of the family aspect of it. I like the movie. I enjoy it. I'll watch it again. I would never watch Shazam again. Neither of them. What did you guys think about Blue Beetle? Comment down below. Did you guys like it? Look, we pretty much already predicted the whole Blue Beetle situation like four or five months ago. So click here to see our thoughts on that. And then over here, these are our thoughts on the Flash film. <laughs> Just click over here and we'll see you in the next encounter. Peace.